What's the first crime young uh, Jerome commits? Armed robbery. That was it. You went right to there. You, I, there was no gateway crime. You, no. you didn't uh, steal a bazooka it candy was, it was, at it was, five. It was, I was sitting. I was at home. I was in the 10th grade. I was at home. And I had been, like, watching movies. And I'm like, I think I can do that. Right? And my mom had a 22. Right? A little, little, little revolver. So I knew where it was. Right? And this store I had been casing for, like, couple of weeks I'm like I, I, I believe I could rob him and when she would go to bed because I mean she never she never cared what time I came or went you know what I mean so I would go out of the house like at about one in the morning and ride down in my, on my bike ride down to the store you're how old now 10th grade you said 10th grade okay but I had like a 10 speed so I would ride it down there and just sit there and watch people come in and out come in and out and I watch and I'll be like I can do it I know I can so one night I decided to walk down there. I said, I'm going to walk because I'm going to need to get the hell out of there. And I had the little gun in my pocket. And I'm like, now I don't know if you go in, do you say give it up or stick him up or let me have the money or do you write him a note? I said, I ain't know what the f I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh God. what? Do we so I just went there and was like, give me the money. And the lady looked at me like, I said, give me the money, lady. Did you have your face covered? No. I was, I was an idiot, dude. I was stupid. <laughs> I was and you like, live in the neighborhood. And I stayed like, a, like, like the next apartment complex up the street. <laughs> so she handed me the money and looked at me like in disbelief because I had been in that store so many times. And it was, <laughs> it was like, and when they went, I came out of the store running with the money in my hand. And my gun in the other hand, and I'm running down the street, and I don't know if I was dropping money or not, but I was hauling ass. I cut down through the woods and popped up at the house and went in the house and went upstairs and went to my room and locked the door and was sitting there counting the money. And I was like, oh, shit, that was easy. How much did you get, you remember? It, dude, it, it was 1979. Uh, I don't remember back then before. Enough but, for pro cats but, at least? Yeah, yeah, right? So. I was like, oh God, I didn't just do that. And then I just started laughing, right? And then I was like, I'm gonna do it again. So then I started doing it, like almost every week. I would just go like, and, and, and what was so dumb that I never thought about? I was robbing places that we live like right around the corner. Yeah, you know? At least when you start working as a more professional thief at 15, <laughs> are you at least going to other counties Maybe. Oh yeah. Some of the richer counties. Maybe. Yeah, we would go think. way out. Oh, all right. Yeah, well, yeah. We 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 advanced then. Well, you perfected your craft. We stepped you. up. Oh, we stepped the game up, Good. Then, bro. We, <laughs> you know what? It was one time we thought about robbing a bank, and I was just like, they got cameras, yeah. and I then and then I went back in one of the stores like a long time after I robbed it and saw they had cameras too, and I was like, oh god. Oh. <laughs> You helped them upgrade their security, probably. Oh, God, right.